So without Will here, you know, this is the Raptor show with Will Lou. So we are obligated to talk about the Raptors. Let's do it. Con contractually. So I did ask the, the both of you to have a take about the Raptors. And, and Tom did say before the show that he's got a hot one. So Tom Henry, what, what is your Raptors take that you want to bring on the Raptor show program? I think mine is going to alienate a large portion of your listeners. Uh oh. Okay. That's great. But yeah. that's kind of what this is all about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the hotter, the meaner, the worse, like, you know. Yeah, that's how radio works. You just watch the movie Private Parts and now you're like raring yeah, to go yeah. or talk I'm, radio? I had to get ready for this. Yeah. Um, Burn it all down. All right, you want my take? Mm hmm Okay. I've, I've said this for a long time. I'm from Toronto. I say the Raptors are not Canada's team. They're mm. Toronto's team. Okay. Expand on that. I want to hear this. Well, everybody wants to, uh, you know, everybody's... Uh, talking crap about Toronto all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, oh, you're from Toronto. Oh, you know, I hate Toronto. Oh, have you been there? No. But anyway, everybody hates Toronto. Uh, everybody hates the Leafs. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as they don't have their own team, they use ours. That's fair, though. I like this. <laughs> this is spicy. Yeah. This is hot. You're saying, like, don't, don't claim it if you're not from Toronto? Well, how are you going to hate the Leafs? And then love the Raptors and the Blue Jays. Yeah, you're saying it's a little bit contradictory. Yeah. They're being hypocrites. Hypocrites. Okay. Wow. But what about like, so you're wearing a world championship shirt, 2019. I am. I so Ennis, like during the championship run, yeah. we saw the Jurassic Parks. Yeah. Not just here in Toronto, all, all across the country. Yeah. Like Tom mentioned, everybody kind of adopted the Raptors. Yeah, you know, Across Canada as their team. I don't have a problem with that. Just, no, I know. What I do you don't think, have what do you Tom, think about Tom's, Tom's take on this? Dark, dark world view. <laughs> Leave the Raptors alone. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna punt Tom's take out of here. No, no, no. I like it. It's revolutionary. Here's what I'm gonna say. But it's dark, you know. They yeah. can enjoy it a little bit. Okay. But not a lot. Right, right. Yeah. But there's no other team so in Canada, level. though. They have to be able to watch like the... That's just tough. I don't know. But that's even the players take pride in that being like the only team in the country. They say that they do. I don't think they care, do they? I think so. They actually care. I mean, athletes. You know, you want to perform for people and uh, and and. You're, you're saying you take everything athletes say at face value. Not everything. Okay. No. Yeah. But I think that's one of those things that seems like, I don't know. I like the idea if that's what it is. Jeez, Tom, you're really tearing down institutions. <laughs> By the way, did they are our uni Did they make our uniforms red because of Canada? Yeah, I mean, they've always wanted red. Yeah. Just yeah. like represent, but like at the very beginning. When the Raptors came here, and you guys know, they, they had the purple jerseys, the, the dinosaur. Yeah. Because yeah. Jurassic Park was really popular at the time. They, they were trying to push against having red. Right. So, like, John Bitov Jr., the, the original owner, really wanted to go against the grain. Like, he didn't want, like, you know, to, to represent the country. He wanted the Raptors brand to basically be, like, international. Like, so he, expand beyond Canada. He was on my side. He was on your side. This guy's a legend. What's his name yeah. again? John, John Bitto. Like, the, like the, the first, the guy who brought the Raptors to Toronto, John Bitto. I don't yeah. know. I was like eight. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're but okay. So what you're saying is, people from across the country can enjoy the Raptors a little, little bit, but only a little bit. A little bit. Okay. What are they supposed to follow? Just pick an American team? Uh, whatever they want. I don't know. <laughs> Just another, another thing. Leave our team alone. Take a hobby. One of the, maybe they can use one of the. Uh, Minor league teams they have. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. A G League team. Yeah. Well, okay. No, like what that. about the greater Toronto area? Like, can, what if you go north? Can Chatham claim the Raptors? I want to, I want to say no. <laughs> we're going to need, <laughs> we're going to need to pull out a map and have Tom draw out the cutoff. Yeah, we need a demographic for, for, map. For where, what it's like, yeah. where you're allowed to be a Raptors fan. I yeah. like that one. Ennis, what is your Raptors take today? I, mean, I know you're, you're a diehard Raptors fan. Yeah, I think um, I, I want to see this. Uh, mine's nothing near what yours is. But, you know, all this talk that happens every offseason about, like, who needs to be traded, I want this team all to be signed to long-term contracts, and I want to see how it goes. I think it's because we won a championship that I'm not pressed about it anymore. But, like, I don't you want to see how far this specific team can go as opposed to having new guys come in? Like, there's talk about, like, trading Fred yeah. this offseason. Like, that might be a move. How could you do that? That's like ripping out... Oh, man, you actually want to talk about basketball? Okay, the I'll heart of the it. team. Yeah. And is here with his real basketball thing. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> <laughs> have you ever Meanwhile, you're like starting a weird new call to <laughs> yeah. the Raptors exclusionist. <laughs> have you ever listened to the show on Fridays? What's I just wanted on? to say I want this team to stay together for a long time. Okay, yeah, because you know, I mean? you know what? 
that's a good point because there's been a lot of trade rumors. Yeah. And the most OG suddenly. Yeah, OG the most recent going. one is around OG Ananobi. Yeah, Jake, Jake Fisher from Bleacher Reports been yeah. reporting it. And he reported today too that uh many of the Raptors are dissatisfied with their role. Rubbish. What does that mean? Yeah. I mean, it's not rubbish. Well, what, Jake is, talks to people around the league. It's still rubbish. <laughs> so you're just simply not accepting the premise that some of these players on the team might not be happy with their role. Yeah, I'm in denial about okay. uh, a non-Toronto sports media being able to report on the Raptors. Mm. There you go. I'm, do, I'm going that way. Okay. Leave nice. our Raptors alone. We're building, media. A, we're building a wall around Toronto. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> no, but is that true? Is there, Did it come from his camp? I know I listened to when you were talking about, like, all those rumors come from somewhere. Yeah. But who stands to gain? Yeah, well, I think... I think I wouldn't push... I would push back against the fact that, like, everybody's happy with their role on a team. Like, yeah. you know, I, I think the way the way that Nick Nurse coaches the team, the way that he sets his rotations and guys, some guys get opportunities, some guys don't. Right. But see, that I wouldn't be mean... surprised that some guys, you know, would want a bigger role. But like, OK, bigger role is one thing. But why does it have to lead to trade talk? That's what I'm saying. It should lead to like you deal with that in house. You figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's no, that's fair. And, and I'm, I'm with you, too. You know, I yeah. think there is a lot of potential with this team. Yeah. And I'm, I'm with you that we should we should kind of see it through and let them grow for the yeah. next couple of years. I'd like to offer a contrarian view and say yeah, that. There we go. Oh, Trade everybody. I'd like to say we should get all the best players in the league. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Would you have been happy with that Paul George, Russell Westbrook trade? I think when Kawhi was leaving and they were saying we have to get Paul George, we yeah. should have just got him and, I mean, ke and kept Kawhi. I, I mean, and, not and the way Westbrook, it's gone. But. Westbrook was supposed to be part of that too. Allegedly, that was the rumor. That might not have gone so It was well. like Siakam and Fred and OG for... Uh, Westbrook and and uh, George, and then we get to keep Kawhi. That would have been a crazy team. Well, Kawhi was trying to do the superstar thing that LeBron does, Kevin Durant does, and basically just run the team, right? Yeah. But would he have actually stayed if we got Paul George, or was he just using it to go over there? I like to think that it was just more leverage. Yeah. The thing that upsets me about Kawhi leaving, yeah. you know, aside from the fact that he left, uh, <laughs> is that I think for him, like, there's all this talk about him wanting to go home to LA and I get all of that but I think everyone was just asking him to come back for one more one year more. one more one year more. that's it and then you could go home plus yeah. you just won a championship and the thing that really bothers me is like I feel like he looked at this team after they won the championship and didn't think they were good enough crazy like if you think about it like he wanted to make these trades yeah. right wanted Paul George here and he ended up teaming up with him in LA so he picked a situation that was better for him personally but I think he thought he picked a better basketball situation and he did not and then you look at the Raptors and they Played so well the following year. We Pandemic slowed them game, down. 15 games in a row without him. Yeah, 15 games in a row. One would argue he made our team worse. <laughs> no, no. These takes are... These that's takes a take. Are that's, yeah, a that's a take. Kawhi Leonard made our don't, team uh, worse. <laughs> don't, don't rate and review We the won podcast. the championship in spite of Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that's your second Raptors take? <laughs> yeah. No, that's Ennis's. <laughs> that's my take.